Hey guys, welcome back to Creamy Suds. It's me again, Stephanie Oki. And today I'm making a soap that I have made before. It's a goat milk and turmeric soap. I just really, really, really love the soap. And so I thought, why not do it again? And why not show everyone? After all, every time I make soaps, everything seems different. It's weird. I'm probably not the only one that goes through this. Everything seems different. Anyways, guys, how are you all doing? How have you guys been? Um, I just want to say thank you to every single person who has subscribed to my channel. Like, I have over over 800 subscribers. How, guys? How? Like, thank you, guys. I can't even believe it. It's just amazing how you guys support me. And, um, yeah, like, if you're here for the first time, please subscribe don't hesitate trust me <laughs> i'm going to try my best to entertain you somehow so just try to subscribe to my channel it really does help um so right now i'm just melting my goat milk uh with you know the lye and you realize that i checked the temperature of the soap a lot um in this video because I kind of didn't make my temperatures come down. I made one or two mistakes. So I didn't actually create an ice bath. As you can see here, my container is in a, a bowl and there was supposed to be like an ice bath. But what I did was I forgot to add some water to the container. So it just had only ice. And so it wasn't cooling down as fast as it should have if it was an actual ice bath. And so even though I was pouring my life slowly, it started to turn yellow right the milk started to turn yellow which is a sign that it's obviously you know getting really warm and so i had to keep checking it and at some point i had to stop adding lye because it was getting too hot and then i just put it aside like you can see here i just put it aside and just decided to measure my um soft oils into my hard oils and i put it aside so that it would cool down before adding more lye right and so here I'm just adding my olive oil, my castor oil, and my avocado oil. So, guys, I, I think I was saying I've missed you guys. Like, it's just been... You know, when I don't talk in my videos, I feel like I'm not communicating with you guys. And I just, so I, I kind of feel like I'm taking a break. And it usually happens when, you know, there's one or th two things going on. I'm just in a bit of a funk. And so I just decide, you know what, I'm just not, not going to talk in my videos. And so I just do videos with music and, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy it. But so far, you know what I'm noticing? When I talk in my videos, I don't get as many views. But when I just put music, boom 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 like i get views i mean i know i'm not a huge youtuber so it's not like i'm getting you know thousands of views but you know what i mean like compared to my average i actually do get views so i'm wondering is it that people don't like my voice <laughs> like what's going on here like why do people like the videos that do not have my voice in them like the only other video i have that's getting a lot of views as well doesn't have my voice in it so please leave a comment down below so that i can know if i need to stop talking maybe i talk too much maybe that's what's going on that's the reason why <laughs> so just let me know please i need to know if i talk too much yeah but in this video i'm talking and there's nothing anybody can do about it i'm gonna talk anyways did you guys see that i added some turmeric to my oil yeah i added turmeric at that point well earlier and then now i just added sodium lactate and i just blended that into the oil and i'm still checking temperatures here just to make sure that my milk is cool and so it turns out i didn't entirely soak at a cool temperature as cool as i would have loved it to be so i ended up soaping at um well over 90 degrees fahrenheit guys talking about fahrenheit i am um, like I, I guess so confused with when i check the weather i'm used to celsius but when i cook because i now use like ovens in, in the u.s i'm now used to the fahrenheit so i can't cook with with celsius and then when i soap now i'm used to fahrenheit and then certain things i do i have to think about them in in celsius especially the weather like i cannot understand the weather in fahrenheit i can only understand it like in in celsius so like when right now in mississippi well, look at, i'll look at my phone the temperature is about 34 degrees celsius 
and that's what i understand actually no it's cooled down because it's late at night now so it's about 28 degrees celsius but i completely understand that you know water freezes at room temperature zero degree sorry not room temperature water freezes at zero degrees and water boils at 100 degrees it just sounds perfect doesn't it it's like absolute but like in cell in fahrenheit i don't know i don't even know what temperature water boils at in fahrenheit i talk too much <laughs> now anywho guys look so i'm filtering in you know sieving in my goat milk into my oils and i'm just going to blend it up blend it up yeah it's perfect <laughs> and i'm gonna blend it up so um now i've just blended in my lye solution and i've just added some citric acid and i'm just blending that further so i think that's all i have in terms of additives i checked my temperature again i realized that it's a bit warm and so obviously from this soap i'm going to expect a bit of gel phase uh when you make goat milk or any form of milk soaps it's not adv advisable that you force gel your soaps so here I'm just doing a pour, beautiful pour. I just love how lovely and orange this looks. It's just really pretty and simple. And you guys probably know that I'm starting to really fall in love with the simple soaps. They are really the best. And this one just, oh gosh, turmeric soaps, charcoal soaps, um, and playing you know clay soaps they are just so good and here this is perfection for me leaving it here next day i'm going to unmold this soap it turned pretty hard you know and i think you know obviously the sodium lactate and uh here so i'm unmolding and it comes out really nice i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when i unmold it guys i've never had you guys just 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 take a look at this look at this i have never unmolded soap that came out this perfectly <laughs> not a single spot like perfect perfection guys this is like a winner <laughs> If you're a soap fan and you've ever unmolded soap that came out perfectly, please leave a comment down below and let me know. I'd really like to know. It doesn't happen very often. It's like a good luck sign or something. Anyways, here you can see that there's some gel phase. Um, there's some gel. I don't know what to call it. It gelled. You know, you know now that nucleus thing. Yeah, it gelled a bit. So there, and that's because it was kind of warm uh so but you know it's not bad i like it it still turned out very pretty and very smooth and i just loved it and uh next time i just will not forget to add water to my ice bath and actually make it an ice bath not just a bowl with ice in it and so here is the cotton and on to the beveling of my soap here you guys if you noticed the bevels i've used before this is definitely a new one i like to try different things all the time and this one I think I fell for marketing on the internet because I saw this. It looked so good. They had been using it to cut, uh, what's it called, cabbage. And then I tried to use it to cut cabbage after I bought it and uh -uh, it was a failure for me. So I just kept it for my soap. And here I'm trying to use it to bevel the soap as well. And um, I will give it a 5 out of 10. It's not great. It's really not great. It's just it, just there. I still prefer my good old Bevola, the, the not Bevola actually, my good old um, potato peeler that I use when I do, um, when I bevel my soaps. That works perfectly and that works great. And really with potato peelers, you know, honestly the quality of the potato peeler matters so if you find that you're using potato peelers and it's not working well trust me get a better one get a slightly more expensive one now on to my soap stamp ah guys i just got this new soap stamp you probably have noticed um 
a friend did it for me uh and i just love it i love that you know i can put creamy suds on my soaps and here is the first one it wasn't it was a bit faint i think i was just a bit light with hitting it in and so i tried more if you're wondering what the watery thing there looks like or what the watery thing there is it's alcohol it's a uh, hundred percent alcohol actually yeah i got it online and i'm just spraying that with alcohol just to ensure that the soap stamp doesn't stick to my bars and there it just looks nice so i'll just let you guys watch it and see how it turns out and i hope you like it look there actually actually i'm not letting you guys watch it. i'm just gonna keep talking <laughs> so look there you can see the bars so some of the bars i stamped on the side where the gel uh, nucleus showed i call it a nucleus what what do you guys call it it's a nucleus it looks like a nucleus anyways and it just looked nice it looked like a kind of ombre is it ombre <laughs> anyways <laughs> it looked nice i liked it and yeah it turned out great to me and i just really love this soap it's a really nice goat milk turmeric soap and i hope you like it so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video bye guys